Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the most exciting video. <laughs> I'm really excited. We are getting a Dalmatian puppy. When I say I've waited like my whole life for this, I'm not exaggerating. There is like a little background story to why I've always wanted it. A Dalmatian but I'll get into that later we're just heading into town to get a few things um, like a crate and a bed for her and some toys leash and harness like little things like that so I thought I'd take you and then we have a massive journey to go get her today we have to travel like nearly eight hours <laughs> Interstate. Road trip. Something in me clicked, and I'm like, I want to get one now. And she was like, the only one available. So we are going on an adventure to get our little girl today. And I've had her name picked for many years. Her name's Penny. I haven't met her, haven't seen a photo of her yet. Well, I've seen a photo, but I don't know which one she'll be. But. One in 101. <laughs> I'm so excited. Are you excited? Yeah, it's gonna be good. Get a pen dog! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go and get her some some stuff. <laughs> Coco's gonna hate us. Stuff came up. <laughs> There's quite a few things here that we can get. They've really expanded their range lately, which is amazing. So, we, do we need one of these? You just clip it to the lead. We do need some of these, but I wanna find biodegradable ones. Yeah, we'll need to get some pet shampoo too. What kind of bowl do you wanna get her? This is the collapsible bowl, Dean. Yeah, that's fine. Can you just show them how it works? Yeah, it's just as easy. <laughs> it's only three dollars. It's not that easy, is it? But that'll do for now. Get out of this. This is like massive. <laughs> I was thinking just like a little bed like this to start off with in the car. Yeah, yeah. And she could use that for a few weeks. It's only twelve dollars. We wanted to like film a haul, and Coco is just going nuts over everything and smelling it. Cokes, do you know that this is for your new sissy? <laughs> Just got home and I am gonna show you everything that we picked up at Kmart. We spent $51 in total at Kmart, which wasn't too bad. We got this big bed. This is their medium sized bed. And I think it was like $12 or something. Um, I would have probably preferred to get a small but anyway, we got that for now. She'll only probably use it for a couple of months and then we'll have to get her a new one. Uh, we got this pink reversible pet blanket. This one I feel was like $8. And so it's just got like this nice fairy bit on there. Then we got a bowl. This is their large size bowl. It has the bowl bit that comes out, which makes it easy to clean. Our Kmart didn't have much of a range in the sizes like they're all the extra large ones and we're like uh we don't need one that big so we just got that one i think it was like eight dollars or so um, i got another little blanket this one was only two dollars um it's basically the same size but it's just like a bit thinner like not as good quality we got some puppy chew toys so this comes with a bone a star and then a little um tug of war thingy as well. Uh, these ones came in pink or blue, so we got the pink ones. These are a good size for a puppy. You guys saw the collapsible water bowl, which doesn't work that great, <laughs> but uh, I don't know why it just doesn't pop in there. But uh, this was $3, so this will be like living in the car and we can just pop it out like so, fill it up, and then she can have something to drink from, which makes it easy when you're traveling in on the go. I'm pretty sure that there are better ones out there that aren't so fiddly type of thing, but this was three bucks. Got some cleanup bags. I do, as I said, want to find some biodegradable ones. Um, I saw someone had some on her channel, so I need to find where I can get them from. And then we got a small sized harness. I think this was like $6. And then we got this lead, which was $3. And then we got a collar, it was maybe $3. So just like something for now, if we need to put her on a lead and a harness, like we've got something. But when she's bigger, we'll probably spend a bit of extra money and get some better quality things. So yeah, that, that's all we got from Kmart. Now we did manage to get a crate. So this is the crate that we have. Uh, we're going to put it actually over here. I'm pretty sure in our house. So we've got like the dining area here. I thought that that would be like a good space for it. Um, 
another space could be over here and I probably need to move that plant. <laughs> it, all the plants that I have are non-toxic to animals. I made sure of that when I bought them, um, but I just don't want her eating it. <laughs> and yeah, we've got a lot of room for her to play. We're on half an acre, so we are getting a big shed put up, but she'll still have heaps of room to play. We've got a really good sized yard and there's more yard down here as well. So Dean's gonna do something now and then we are gonna get on the road, but we are going to stay overnight somewhere. So we need to book accommodation and I need to pack some, like a little overnight bag. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's gonna be like a little adventure today. You're gonna get a sister. You're not gonna be very happy. Coco has been an only child for <laughs> nearly eight years. So she is not keen on other animals. She just becomes old mate flathead. So she puts her ears down, <laughs> like that type of thing. She's just keen to be the only child in the house. She is a Siamese. So she runs the house, she owns the house. <laughs> but she's just gonna have to get used to it. Um, what we are gonna do is actually get some like baby puppy gates. With this part of the house, it just goes off into some other bedrooms. So we're just gonna put some here and then she can um, jump over them or, and then she has that rest of the house to herself. Because it is really important for existing animals, especially cats, to have their own space. So we'll put her food and litter up in that. For now, I mentioned at the start, this has just been such a long time coming. When I, I think I might have been like maybe nine or ten or something like that. My best friend at the time and I made this book on what we wanted to do when we were older and breeding Dalmatians. And it was like a project, but it wasn't a pro like a school project. It was one that I did myself. Like I drew pictures, I wrote all this stuff about Dalmatians and researched them and like, I don't know, I think it's still at my mom and dad's house, but like I never forgot that. I've wanted a Dalmatian like for so long. Like, you know, obviously the movie 101 Dalmatians really sparked my interest in them, but I've just wanted one for so long and I knew that like I've done obviously a lot of research and I know that they need a lot of time. They need a lot of exercise. I wanted to make sure that I had the time to have the dog. And that's really important to me that the dog is part of the family and it's not just something that's left out in the backyard. I want it to be well integrated into our life. I don't know, I feel like we've been at the point where we are ready to have a dog for a while. The backyard, last year I think we still had the grass growing. So, you know, for the past, I, maybe like six months or so, we've probably had a yard that's okay to have a dog in. Like everything's blocked off, so it can't escape. But like that was really important to me to not have like mud everywhere. And yeah, just have the time to be able to train her and spend time with her. And the reason why we are getting a puppy as well is for Coco's sake. We have done some research and puppies are better integrated into a family when they're puppies like with other animals whereas if it's you know a big dog like oh like i think coco would just fret puppies have certain characteristics and everything that are you know more acceptable fingers crossed that that grows well i've told a few people that we're getting a dog and people like you know like it's a lot of work and i'm like i know i've waited years like and i know that it's so much work and i'm finally in a position where i'm ready for her to come into our lives and dean's ready too dean's excited coco's gonna yeah the only thing that i'm worried about is coco like to be honest so we'll pack everything up and we'll head on our adventure this afternoon and i should be getting some photos this afternoon as well from the breeder because she was away so she couldn't send me photos but i've seen photos of the puppies in a group and they are so bloody adorable. What are you doing? Missy Moo? What are you doing? You're just getting in the box. <laughs> We're gonna make the crate now so we thought we'd just show how easy it is. Oh, that's a shame it didn't come with the divider. 
because I've heard that like you put a divider in when they're younger so then they only have like a smaller bit to sleep in so then they don't wean it get in there you get in there <laughs> you, you reckon you can get in there yeah you reckon I could get nah in there? it's too small for you mate nah I reckon that's perfect size for me oh <laughs> Gives a new meaning to being in the doghouse, doesn't it? Oh, you'll be in the doghouse in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get out? Maybe? Yeah. This is a good day as any to start the rebuild. Morning guys, we are in Kuma, New South Wales today and it's freaking freezing. It is so cold. Um, but I hardly slept because I'm just so excited to get our little girl. Uh, she sent through some photos last night and we pretty much like chose the one that we wanted from the photos and we um, we wanted to get one that has very placid nature um, just to cope the best with Coco you know kind of have the mesh a bit better and um, the one that we chose she said that that is the best one like the other three girls are way more energetic than her and she's just more happy to sit there um, so yeah I think that we've picked her but she we're gonna meet her somewhere in about 40 minutes and get our little girl This morning half so clear a lot as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face when the uh, reader called she said that the little girl that we picked wasn't feeling too well so we went with our second choice um, because she yeah she didn't seem very well and she was like oh I don't know how she'd go traveling and um, and this little girl was you know like she, they're all cute anyway like um, she seemed like she had a good nature and she wasn't as playful as the other two girls that were there so yeah this is Penny. She's so bloody cute. I'm sure she'll just fall asleep very soon for a little nap. We've got eight hours to get home now. <laughs> It's um like after eight, I think it's like 20 past eight. And Coco's like a little bit upset because we've left her for one night. And so she's running around like crying a little bit. She hasn't seen Penny yet. So this is not gonna go too well. Doggy. Coco. This is the baby gate that we got. Coco, you ready? You ready to meet your sister? So, Sissy! Very surprised. 
be honest. She'll just lose her shit now. How you doing? You've done really well, Coco. I'm proud of you. Your sister. Come on, Gaggy. Nah, she'll want to stay up high. Oh. Don't kill her. <laughs> she looks like she's gonna <laughs> <laughs> This is actually going really well. Hey. Good she's girl, like, Gaggy. You're such a good, good girl. girl. Look at Penny, she's so cute. Hi, Penda. Good girl, Cokes. I'm really proud of you. Okay, Vince. Oh, Coco. You're just gonna sit there. I thought she was gonna be old mate Flathead. Yes, you are the cutest little girl. Huh? I'll go get your bed and get you all set up. Oh, <laughs> she's so little. Coco's way bigger than her. I know. <laughs> like Coco usually looks small, but right now it's like, she's a big fat cat. <laughs> she's just like eating all the food that we left for her over the weekend that I said, oh, you're not gonna eat that. She ate it all. Hey, Pens. It's all right, sweetie. Oh, hello. You were. Oh, like put Coco down, like I wanted us to do it in her own time. Yeah, I know, yeah. He's just sussing around. Look at you, you she's are not, such a good girl. not a teddy bear that you can throw around. <laughs> we have this like Dalmatian teddy bear and Coco would just like throw it around. Oh, well done, Coco. <laughs> oh, look at you. Hey. And Penny was a really good girl on the car ride. I just had a bed at the bottom of my feet. And she um, she just slept pretty much the whole way. We let her have um, several wee stops and she was a good girl and just went to wee. And then she just weed before when we got home. What are you doing? No. She, Penny went to follow you. She's like, where are you going? I'm gonna set up your puppy gate. Hey. hey. I think she likes you more. <laughs> nah, she's just, I'm moving around, just standing still. Literally. Guys. Alright. So we got pen dogs and a bed on the couch. And Coco is not doing so well. She hasn't cracked it at her. She just came yeah. up and sat here and she was okay. We gave Penny a little bit to eat and she's just been playing with her toy. Hey. Just the cutest little girl. You are too, Cokes. Love you. Look at that face, though. That face. So cute. So cute. very interesting to get to know our personality over the next you know, couple of weeks and months to see what kind of dog she turns into. Hey. She's 
just come up here and she's just like sniffed the bed. And he hasn't noticed her yet. She's very curious. I'm so proud of her for being like brave. And she hasn't cracked it yet. This little miss, you're so tired, aren't you? She's just gonna fall asleep. It's so funny how puppies just fall asleep. Like one minute they're okay, and then the next they just curl up, and then they're, they're out. Hey. Oh, you good girl. Okay, so this is how we set up her crate. So we've put a bit of cardboard in between, just for just for now, for the time being, while she's so small. And her bed that we've got her fits perfectly in this half. She's been such a good little dog today, haven't you? Yeah. Good girl. Well, that is our adventure on getting our Dalmatian puppy and um, a very exciting one. We spent the whole weekend in the car traveling, but she is so worth it. We just adore her so much. She's so beautiful and I can't wait to see her grow and her personality come out. If you have a Dalmatian, let me know. I'll leave you a little story of how you got your Dalmatian down below. I'd love to know. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.